What's up everyone, my name is Mike, welcome back to my channel, and if Vivi does this, I think we'll see a, quite a turnaround in the market, especially with comics. Let's get into this. So I've just been looking and I've just been thinking a little bit here right now as San Diego Comic Con comes up, and Vivi is going to be in the Marvel booth. It's going to be an amazing real estate space for them to be and to get a lot of eyes on what they're doing with Marvel, with comics, and with collectibles in the market on Vivi right now. And I think that if things really go well and uh, the sentiment behind what they're doing kind of gets properly articulated to those that are going to Comic-Con, we could see quite a turnaround in the market. As since we've been on quite a downcline, since the market kind of spiked for a little bit there and came immediately back down, I think we're expecting this anyways with MTL. I was at least, I was surprised when I saw the market go up, leading into a lot of uh, KY and MTL being released to some people but as more and more people are getting MTL and getting a KYC they are also I think going to be withdrawing a little bit from Vivi so I think we're gonna continue to see this downturn for the time being but I do think we'll see spikes and more interest here and there especially I think that this comic-con comes at a great time with this happening in the market with MTL being rolled out obviously they planned this to be rolled out before something big like them going to comic-con they don't want eyes on their platform that isn't completely ready for these investors collectors to really storm into the market which is why we're still early here with this and I know that there's been talks about big comic drops during comic-con if they do that if they articulate themselves to those coming if they actually really do a great job of articulating their message to comic-con attendees I think we'll see a quite a turnaround in the market maybe for a short period of time but at the end of the day if we get more people in on this and interested in these comics collectibles then that's only going to lead to longer term collectors on this platform and those are the collectors that we want on this platform so not only are we getting more people we're getting the right people on this platform which could be really huge now I'm just trying to think what exactly they could do and if you have any suggestions for that, leave it in the comment section below. I'm really interested myself in marketing and having my own businesses. So I too am trying to brainstorm because I'm thinking back to when Vivi was at Star Wars Celebration, what kind of impact did that have on the market? Now at that time, they weren't front and center. They had, I believe like small little posters or billboards digital that explained what was happening with Vivi, what was dropping during that time with Vivi and Star Wars and people should download the app from that. I thought it would be really cool if they would have had during Star Wars Celebration they have certain presentations of say collectibles, physical collectibles that are coming out or anything like that and that's broadcast on YouTube to even a wider audience and it would have been great to see Vivi on that. It was such a great setup for that but perhaps the timing wasn't right because MTL wasn't out and they they weren't ready for a significant amount of people coming into the platform. They weren't ready for those eyes, so to speak, to come onto the platform and to notice Vivi because you don't want to get people on the platform and then to get discouraged immediately on the platform. So that makes a little bit of sense. But I'm sure if I was Vivi, I would be going for that next year to be one of those quick presentations to show people Vivi and what they can do with Vivi because once they see it and once they see that you can collect Star Wars collect comics they're gonna want to get in on that so having that front and center area in Star Wars Celebration would be huge but what did their efforts at Star Wars Celebration do for that now looking at the Omi token burns Google Sheets it looks like I don't think it did quite a bit I think it was more so those collectibles that dropped at this time that caused an uptick in gem purchases so if I take a look at the gem purchases from the 26th to 29th that's where we see a little bit of an uptick even into the millions and this I don't think really is caused by people entering the market from Star Wars Celebration I think it's just existing users buying gems to make sure that they got that Darth Vader drop or other drops on the platform as well and the reason why I say that is if I go back and I look at another major drop or semi major drop similar to where Darth Vader's at but not quite 
if I have to think of the most recent one, I have to think probably the Electra drop. I'm just kidding about that. Uh, probably the Disney Golden Moments Disney Duos drop is the most closest to the tier of Darth Vader, though I don't think quite, yet the most recent is more so what I'm going for with this. And what did that bring in in terms of gem purchases? Well, actually quite a bit. And we saw millions of gem purchases, even more so than we saw with Vader. Now this was back in March. We're still in that bear market, but not as bad as is today so maybe that plays a little bit into factor as well as we had more people getting MTL leading up to that Darth Vader time at least a beta group so maybe that had a little bit of to do with everything that we saw when comparing these numbers I still don't think that the efforts by Vivi marketing at Star Wars Celebration led to more users, a significant uptick in users, or even more gem purchases, but it is good to get eyes on what could be Vivi. At least those that did see whatever they had at Star Wars Celebration, at least they have some sort of inclining as to Vivi seeing that brand logo and seeing digital collectibles all together so that the next Next time they hear about Vivi, it might kind of click in their mind that this is where they need to go to be able to get Star Wars collectibles. Now their spot in the Marvel booth at Comic-Con is going to be a big one because they have good real estate there compared to the Star Wars Celebration drop. So I am looking forward to what this may bring and especially if they do a great job with the drops during this period. Getting people excited there to get major comics would be a major factor, especially if they get those comics on the drop. That's what got me hooked. That's what I hear a lot of people get hooked on Vivi once they get their first drop or their first First big drop they get that and they're all hooked on Vivi it's the biggest thing why I'm bullish about this because if you get a new user on and they get their first drop and it's a big one or it's a valuable comic or collectible they're hooked and that's what I want to see going forward with this platform let me know your thoughts your comments in the comment section below let me know what you think about anything I said here as well as what you think Vivi should be doing at Marvel booth in comic-con if I was going if I had tickets or I lived in that area or if I had a significant amount of money invested into Vivi I would definitely be going and I would just stand there at that booth trying to not be too much of a creep just being in one place for the whole entire time and just get sentiment get to understand what people are saying in response to hearing about Vivi what are these people going to comic-con think of this platform and what are their first thoughts and then what does the conversation sort of look like from there with them I would really be interested in knowing what the market sentiment would be about Vivi there and let me know your thoughts your comments in the comment section below like this video if you found it helpful for whatever reason and subscribe to my youtube channel for more content like this thank you so much for watching